Welcome back to Off the Court. This is our third episode and our first edition of Welcome to Campus. That means we're going to have on one of our newest members of the PAC women's basketball team. Our first guest is a four-star point guard from Jonesboro, Georgia. She was ranked 46th overall in the nation and was the first recruit to commit in the 2020 class that is ranked 20th in the nation. Please help me welcome Genesis Bryan. Hey, y'all. Uh... <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Pretty good. It's still really crazy. I was hoping this would all be over by now, but it's just keeping going. So, you know, trying to make it through. Yeah, yep, exactly. Well, also, it's your birthday, isn't it? It is. It's my 18th Happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 18, like, you're an adult now. How does that feel? I know. When I woke up this morning, I was just like, oh, wow, I'm 18. <laughs> like, I can sign my own papers. I can vote. Like, it's really like, I'm 18. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I was like, this works out so perfectly. It's her birthday, and I get to, like, talk to her, and everybody gets to meet you a little bit. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before we, like, jump into some of the questions, I want to give you a chance to kind of uh, tell people who you are a little bit. And this is really, like, cliche, but, like, to make it simple, do you want to like describe yourself in like three words? I mean, you don't have to do that, but if that's like easier, you can do that. You can do it for like both on the court and just personality. But how would you describe yourself in three words? If I had three words, I'd probably say um, goofy, uh, independent, and uh, competitive competitive I like that I mean I never really saw you play much other than like highlights and stuff but um you definitely are a competitor especially on defense I think that's something that like people don't get enough credit for but I've seen you take more charges in highlights than I have seen like in an entire season playing with NC State <laughs> yeah I really like um I wasn't always like that though so as I got older, I realized that defense was a really important part, and I just bought in because really defense to me is effort. You don't really have to have a lot of yeah. skill, just the effort to play. So, yeah. So that's, like, kind of, like, your – how would you put – like, that's just something that you take a lot of pride in, right? Like, yeah. I mean, defense is not always fun, but it's <laughs> definitely a game changer. Exactly. You Defense wins games, so it's definitely a game changer. And trust me, knowing – you going in as a freshman, being able to play defense is going to, like, extend your playing time like crazy because that's, like, the number one thing. We go into film and, like, you'll be like, well, she's a freshman, <laughs> so we just automatically know. But if you're already on that defensive uh, wave, you know, I think that you're going to be able to play a lot of minutes. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So let's get into some of the questions. I mean – recruiting how did who recruited you how did you end up at nc state why did you choose nc state all these awesome things that everybody wants to know about that recruiting process okay well coach aaron was my main recruiter and it was crazy because i knew coach aaron when she was at georgia state mm -hmm. so back when i was in middle school she was recruiting me then and when she went to nc state then she started recruiting me and um i chose nc state because really it was the girls like the team is what really got me I felt the family atmosphere. I felt like just the bond. You could tell it wasn't fake, like it was real. And the coaching staff, I just feel like it's just a perfect blend of people. Um, then the campus is beautiful, the location. It was far, but not too far from home because I had family in North Carolina also. So it was like right in a good spot. And um, yeah, I feel like just God just led me there with how the whole process went. And I'm just excited to be here. Yeah, I mean, I remember your recruiting visit, and it was so hot out in that football game, and we were all like, oh, God, they're not going <laughs> to – we're all tired. They're not having a good time, but you, were, you like, committed, and we were heard it at practice, and we were all super excited. But, like, who else was recruiting? You said Georgia State was, but obviously you were ranked 46 overall in the nation, so you were probably very highly recruited. Why don't you let us know a little bit about who else recruited you? I don't know who else recruited me. Well, I took officials to um, University of California, Texas Tech, St. John, and um, 
my closet. In Dayton. And then others were recruiting me. Um, Georgetown, Rutgers, uh, University of Houston, South Alabama. So just kind of to name a few. But um, yeah, I just feel like the process for me, it like at first it becomes really exciting because you see all the coaches that really want to um, talk to you and you get all these calls and that's really exciting, especially on um, September 1st when you're a junior. But then it gets to a point where it can be overwhelming if you don't know how to control it and don't let the process control you. So I think that was a lesson I had to learn throughout the process to um, really set times to call people and um, just not letting it consume my whole day because I was still in school. Then we had practice, we had games. So it was really just about time management when it came to recruiting and calling back coaches and things of that nature. Yeah, I definitely understand that. Like the recruiting process gets out of hand if you don't take care of it early. So, um, yeah. you know, super happy you came here. What was your favorite part of the recruiting process? I mean, I know like officials are really fun, but like for me, I really enjoyed like getting to know people and all over the place. And I still like talk to some of the coaches who recruited yeah. me back then. So like what for you was like the most enjoyable part of the recruiting process throughout the whole thing? Most definitely, I would say um, getting to meet all the coaches and building that relationship. Because like you said, I could still have coaches that I could talk to and that even wish me happy birthday and things like that. So just never burn the bridge. Because even though you don't go there, if you do it the right way, then you won't burn that bridge. So really the relationship with coaches and the visits was fun. The official and unofficial visits, just going to different parts of the world. Because I've never been to California. I never went to New York. Um, never been, I only been to Texas once. Those I was going all over the country just through basketball. So that was really fun. Just the relationships and going to these different places. Yeah, for sure. I mean, traveling is awesome and you're going to get to do a whole lot of traveling again with <laughs> NC State. Um, so that kind of leads us into our next thing. Freshman year, that's coming up. Are you nervous? Um, I feel like we had to wait because we was a, a um, originally supposed to come probably like this week. So I feel like with me having to wait, I'm more excited and anxious and nervous. But it's a little bit of nervousness just moving out and being on my own. But I feel like I built that relationship with the team. And I feel like we're just going to, it's going to bond real good. So not really too nervous. Well, that's good. I mean, so what will you, have you decided what you're going to be studying? I know sometimes people don't know, but have you decided what you're going to major in? Well, I decided sports management, but now I'm having second thoughts. I'm not quite sure, but right now it's sports management. Why are you having second thoughts? Um, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I want to do something. I don't, I really don't know, Ace. I just, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I think I want to do something else. I'm not sure. Well, did you want to go into coaching afterwards? Was that kind of like the plan? And now you're like kind of wanting to explore stuff a little bit? Yeah, I actually, I definitely wanted to stay around the game and coaching. If I wasn't playing, then coaching would definitely be number two. But then it was like, well, what if, you know, I want to do something else? I want to fall back on my degree to get an actual career. Or it was just a lot of things I was going through my head. But, but right now it is sports management. Well, that's good. I mean, a degree is a degree. And once you get it, like a degree from NC State is worth a lot, regardless of whatever program you are. So, I mean, it's, a good starting point either way um but you said that if you keep playing so is playing professional like part of your goals coming out of high like college when you finish it all would you like to continue playing yeah I would, I would like to continue overseas or straight to the WMA like are you open to both what what are you thinking I'm open to both because I really haven't traveled that much outside the country so I'm really open to both I mean, it's, I think that it would be, it's a wonderful chance. Like I play with the national team and being able to travel like with basketball is by far the best benefit that you get out of it. Um, yeah. So what are your goals for freshman year? Let's just start that. That's all the, like professional is way down the line. So let's just focus on this upcoming season. What are your goals and like, what do you think you can bring to the team? Um, goals. This is um, your time to brag a little bit. Like, <laughs> Out of a goal, um, really for me, I just really want to do what I can to help the team because I know we're coming off for ACC championship, so definitely um, back-to-back champions and then 
the NCAA tournament. I really feel that NC State is on the rise right now. So I'm just excited on what what's to come. And as as far as individual goals, I don't really have those because I know when I was a senior, like as you grew, like as you went full circle for me in high school, the accolades and individual goals you really didn't as you got older, it really didn't matter as much because you really just wanted to win. So really that's just my main goal is just wanting to win. And then as far as what I could bring to the team, I feel like I could bring just a competitive spirit because I really hate to lose. So I feel like that competitive spirit. And then also um, with my high school team, we was a family as well. Mm-hmm. So just that, just bonding as a family, because that's really important. Because if you really care about the girl next to you, you're going to want to play harder. So. Just that family spirit and competitiveness. I think that's awesome. And you're going to love practice because it's just competing the whole time. <laughs> Although the running when you lose is going to make it worse. <laughs> but, um, okay, so we have some questions from guests. At the end of the show, we actually are announcing two of our prize pack winners. But before we get to that, Mary Rawls wants to know, what are you most looking forward to? Um... Well, outside of the basketball, the um, that leg diner, I heard there was some really good food there. I love food. <laughs> so that, I know that's like a fat girl answer, but I'm really looking forward to um, <laughs> the diner for the, the athlete. Outside Do you basketball. like seafood? I love seafood. That's my Second favorite Second Thursday food. of every month is crab legs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, that is my favorite food. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it I honestly like you, once you're like on your own and you have to like provide like food for yourself the dining hall is a lifesaver especially on crab night because everybody loves crab night yeah <laughs> and then you know what are you most worried about from the transition from high school to college because you know on the academic side it's a lot different and it's a lot different on the basketball court too so is there anything like that you are a little bit anxious about whether or not how you're going to like acclimatize to it and all that. Cause for me, like I was a really good student, so I wasn't worried so much about the school, but like the like physical conditioning and all of the weightlifting and stuff, that was something I was worried about. So what, um, what are you kind of thinking about a little bit anxious about ready to get into going into your freshman year? Um, well, a lot of people that I've asked as college athletes was the biggest transition. They always say it's speed and it's strength. So that would be probably like my biggest if it like concern, like just the weightlifting, the conditioning. I know they um some of the girls talk about the yo yo. <laughs> so that's probably like conditioning and strength. Um like you said, like I've I've been good at um academics, so I'm not too worried about that. Because I've been taking college classes. So mm-hmm. for academics I'm pretty pretty good. So it would have to be the strength of conditioning. Yeah, I mean, Nate's going to get you right. Are, like, that leads us into our next question, like, in quarantine. Um, John wants – Tom, sorry. Tom wants to know if um, if you're still in shape, like, what you're doing to stay in basketball shape during quarantine. Um, well, early in quarantine, I wasn't clear to run just yet, so I started riding my bike. And that was really fun because I was still getting my cardio and then just riding it by kind of like a good vibe. So I was riding my bike a lot. Then I started going to therapy, and now they cleared me to run. So now I've been running, gradually trying to get my wind back in me. So, And then I've always been training and lifting and things like that. So, yeah, I've been staying in pretty good shape. That's good. I mean, quarantine is, like, throwing it all out the window. Have you been able to, like, get into a gym in Georgia, or is it still, like, kind of difficult to do that? It's really hard getting the gym. I have a basketball goal outside, so I've been on my basketball goal outside. Oh, lucky. I have to, like, (laughs) drive, like, a couple blocks down to even get to one that's semi-nice, but that's awesome. Um, And then what are you doing in quarantine to stay busy? Like, how are you staying sane? What am I doing? Um, Like I said, for me, riding my bike has really been, like, it's kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. Just It's like a calm feeling, feeling, just going down the hills and just things like that. I ride like a lot. And um been going to therapy, uh been working out. Uh, it's not I've been hanging with a couple of friends, so but it's not really a lot. It's just kind of the everyday things that just been keeping me sane. Are you like 
a homebody a little bit or do you like to be like around people a lot like is this difficult for you no I'm a homebody <laughs> so it's not that big of a difference <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm the same way. Like, I was like, actually, this is great. Like, I can just work out and not worry about having to see anybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not too bad. Well, Mary, Maria Santor wants to know who your basketball idol is. I would definitely say Stephen Curry, just because of his story and how he went to Davidson, which was considered like a smaller school, and now to where he is now and how to me, he really changed the way that they play basketball, like the NBA, mm -hmm. with his three-point shot. So, and that's kind of like somebody that I look towards to. I know he's kind of like a small guard considered in the NBA. So, yeah, that's kind of like who I, who I idolize. Just his story and background, and also D Rose. Cause I know he's been through a lot, especially with his knees and things like that. So, D Rose is Stephen Curry. So, do you like try and model your game after them a little bit? Um. I actually, I actually do try. I watch a little of them on definitely Stephen Curry, just the way he shoots behind screens and things like that. I mean, I think we could all look forward to being able to see some of that on the court this <laughs> season. Everybody needs some of that. Um, and then Jay Waller wants to know what specific skills are you working on in the off season right now? Um, definitely my pull up game because I because watching the tournament. Y'all did a lot of mid-range. So definitely my mid-range was we really – I really didn't do that a lot in high school. So definitely my mid-range, um, stopping pops, uh, my left hand dribbles, getting it tighter. And, um, yeah, and to just get myself back in shape. So now trying to get back to running and get myself back in So everything. You're just going to be great at <laughs> everything. <laughs> I just really try to, like, just improve my game because I also um, – I watched something that said, hi, I mean, college is all about scouting reports. So if they see you have a weakness, they're going to target that weakness. So you got to try to be, you know, kind of all around so they don't just pick on you. So I don't want to be picked on. So <laughs> I'm really trying. Yeah, you don't want to be that kid that we're talking about in thing that she's a freshman, guys. So don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I seriously doubt that's going to happen. Like from what I've seen, you can shoot the heck out of the ball like <laughs> I was looking at that and as a shooter like that's a lot coming from me because I was watching your film and I was like she's way beyond NBA range and she's gonna hit <laughs> this three right here didn't even look like the girl wasn't even close just pulled up and it was awesome I mean I think for somebody who's graduating getting, like I'm super excited to see like my replacement like you're obviously <laughs> you're gonna build your own legacy and do all those things but who can shoot probably like hopefully better than me like if you want to break all my records please do <laughs> got you say that mean a lot kind of you. i mean i'm gonna be a little bit salty in the moment but like i'll still hype <laughs> you up so <laughs> <laughs> got you <laughs> Yo. but have you had a chance to like talk and i know you guys would already be on campus usually but have you had a chance to like talk and meet with some of the other freshmen a little bit yeah, so like we have our own little group chat. We're getting stuff together on who's gonna buy what for the dorm and stuff like that. So we we built a good relationship over this over these couple months. That's good. I mean, they're gonna be like the family for the next four years. I mean, you have a really good group of girls coming in, and I think that like yeah. overall, you guys are gonna do a really good job. I mean, we had a great class last year, but I'm super excited to see what you guys do. Um, you know. Do you have like any fun facts about yourself? I know that like it's I know you a little bit, but nobody really has been able to get to know you. Everybody else kind of knows the returners through um, stuff like this, but also on the court. So, like, give us like some stuff that we can't find off of Google. Um, I love to sing, even though I can't sing. But I love to like just. <laughs> Sing um, Beyonce songs. Beyonce is my favorite artist. Love to sing all Beyonce songs. Um, what else do I like to do? Uh, I'm just starting to get into cooking, so try to learn some more things in the kitchen. Um, That's good. You and KJ can get in that kitchen together. <laughs> I know I've seen KJ's, but yeah, we're going to probably have to help each other out, but I'm just now starting to learn. Oh. Um, uh, I do. Um, 
What's your favorite uh, food? Crab legs <laughs> and <laughs> easy, seafood, easy. <laughs> shrimp, all those stuff. And then second would probably be like steak, steak or lamb, like stuff like that. Oh, you got um, a little bougie taste. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the steak and lamb. But um, and I really like to like play. I like to like enjoy, make jokes, have fun, and, like. Once you really get to know me, I know I'm trying like kind of like serious on the court, but off the court, I'm a really laid back and goofy person. So, so you're gonna be like yeah. the the like joker on the team. I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean that's awesome. So I'm expecting some awesome and like cool celebrations on the bench, like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But you know, thank you for giving us this opportunity to like get to know you better i know that you're gonna have an amazing four years and the fans are gonna have more than enough time to get to know you some more but this is a great like introduction um so thank you so much for coming on thank you for having me and then before we go we get to announce our two prize pack winners we got them both off of Twitter. We put it in a random name generator, so don't worry. You, everybody has an equal chance. But our two winners this week are Mary Rawls and Matt Glover. Congratulations. The, yeah, I don't even know what's in them. Like I'm, They're probably going to be so cool. But, um, you know, the media team is going to get in touch with you through social media, so don't worry. You don't have to – they're not going to skimp out on you. You're going to get it. And – Please, everybody, make sure to keep submitting your questions. You make this so fun. Um, and we'll continue to give out prize packs through the whole thing. So thanks again for watching and see you next week. <laughs>